hello everyone today i am going to implement this uh, in this dive in uh, dive in system when the character dive downwards you can see characters uh, uh, character's body is rotating down like this and when the character moves up it uh, get horizontal like this so this is the part i am going to do today And this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Right, so at the moment my character can go to the water and dive but uh, when uh, as i go down or go up the character stays horizontal so i need to do something about that in this episode uh, so let's first uh, open the character's animation blueprint let's open the character blueprint first right now from the mesh let's select the animation blueprint okay so now uh, now what i want to do is i want to rotate the character to look up as i go up uh, to the surface so look down as i go down uh, to the deep of the in the water so this is the animation blend space that shows uh, swimming so now here if I can add a rotation let's say let's see um like a transform modify bone no it's not available here right okay uh, let's connect it like this so when I connect this there will be a conversion from local to component and connect it back again converted from component space post to local post right now here I want to rotate the character mm, uh, let me change this is in water to true for a bit so that I can see when I do some change here so here as the bone to modify I'll kill pelvis and compile uh, so rotation I'll set it to replace existing sorry let's try it to existing yeah now what if I add like 30 okay not your 30 right this is the variable we need to modify the X component so if I make it 90 character will be looking down if I add minus 90 character will be looking up this way okay <coughs> So negative means look up, positive means look down. Right now, uh, let me split this, and I only want to modify this. So let's promote this to a variable. Uh, what shall we call it? No. 
let's promote this whole rotation to the variable let's call it swim rotation Fire. okay now here when we calculate the speed values we calculate this up vector here so when the let's print the values we get for the up vectors and let's decide how to move on based on the values we get here let's see okay when I press control and dive down I get negative values and when I press shift and dive up uh, move up I get positive values right and uh, let me open the output look so it changes from changes in between plus minus 300 to plus 300 okay so that's the range I'm looking at Um, and uh, when the x component of this swim rotation modifier if I set it to a minus value character will loop up if I set it to a plus value character will loop down okay now let's set swim rotation modifier split this because we only need to change the x component uh, the reason to uh, keep these uh, other components as well because maybe when we try to uh, swim to another direction with a turn we can use those to do some stuff later on I'm not sure about that yet so here let's see let's divide this so no let's multiply this by let's say let's try something like point four zero point four and this should be negative because we need to change the sign in order to make the character look up and down accordingly. let's try now and when I press control you can see character is looking down and when I press shift character is looking upward but that's too much actually yeah let's uh, use like point two right that's better okay and once I release the this movement is too fast the changing of direction is too fast as you can see see so instead of directly setting the value maybe it would be better if I do a lerp so get the rotation modifier split and get the x part and do a lerp as the new value I'll use this part uh, this result of this dot product as the alpha let's try 0 0.1 
Right now, let's check. Okay, yeah, that's better. Right. And also, we need to clamp this value. It should not have anything larger than uh, we don't we want to prevent character having extreme rotations so let's clamp this value in between minus 60 and plus 60 Okay. Okay. All right. So, yeah, that's it. So with that, I would like to stop this episode. Now we have the diving animations. And uh, yeah, as always, the project files will be available for the download. Link would be in the description below. And if you would like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. Thanks for watching. See you in another episode. Goodbye.